Hanrai Authentic Korean Barbecue Restaurant. Let's go here with Mr. Giant Face Man. <laughs> here we are. This is the place for meat in Kamurocho. Whoa, it looks pretty expensive. Are you gonna be okay picking up the tab here? Nani. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I got money. So you just enjoy yourself. Uh, sure, well, let's do this. Welcome, can I take your order? Yes, I'll take everything. You mean you'd like one of every item on the menu? Of course not. I want an amount of meat equal to the mass of one full ground grown cow. What? I I mean, of course, sir. Um, Would you like it with sauce or salt and pepper? <laughs> Both. Both? Wait, you mean you want two cows? Yes. R right away then, sir. How are you going to eat it with just chopsticks? And why is that my first concern? <laughs> wow, that was really delicious. What a great choice. You certainly have a way with food. How many people out there could eat two whole cows of meat? Anyway, what do you want to do next, creepy nightmare black hole man that apparently had gained no weight in this process of eating things larger than you? I'd like to get some drinks, actually. Drinks? Okay. I know a good bar from near here. I, I can take you there if you want. Aw, oh, come on, a bar? You should know better than that, Kiryu-san. Huh? If we're gonna drink in Kamurocho, it's gotta be at a cabaret club. Uh. Oh, right. I understand now. I've always wanted to go to a cabaret club, so this is my golden opportunity. Please, take me there. Well, you certainly have no shame. I suppose the closest one would be Jewel, so we can give that a shot. Hey. Okay. He's gonna stink up the joint with all his cow meat that he ate. Where's Jewel? Is that Jewel? Yes, it is. Oh, no, no, I'm doing a thing right now, stop. Made it. The yeah, will cease to exist, thankfully. Well, we're here. Let's have a good fight! Whoa. Why are you yelling? Oh, sorry. Old habits die hard. I used to always yell when I entered a room. Do you... So are you a wrestler? Is that what this is? We're well, gonna have to relax. I don't want you getting drunk and judo throwing anyone. Wow, you're so well built. Well, well built. Do you play sports? Yeah. Well, sort of. A long to go a long time ago I did. <laughs> oh, I love a man with some muscle tone. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. Shall we have champagne? Oh, what a dynamic man. One gold for this fine piece of man. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold that order. Oh, you didn't want the gold? No, that's not it at all, but just one bottle? Let's not be stingy here. <laughs> Let's see. I'm sure the four of us could take on our own take on our own bottle each, so I think we need four golds. <laughs> wow, you know how to party, Shinohara-san. <laughs> you heard the man, four bottles of gold. Those are expensive. Although I think here you can well past afford that now. Uh, over and over again. <laughs> Didn't think you were the type to order four bottles of champagne. You sure know how to. You sure know how to liven up a cabaret. <laughs> nah, that was nothing out of the ordinary. If I go drinking, that's how I'm gonna do it. I see. I guess you're just an all-around party animal. So, what do you want to do next? Huh? What's wrong? You didn't like the club? Yeah. No, that's not it. Dinner and drinks were a lot of fun, but I haven't found anything that's really excited me yet. Nani. You're looking for excitement? Yeah. 
Well, there's no point coming all the way to Comrade Show to have some, the same kind of fun I could have anywhere. Well, well, Shinohara-san, let me introduce you to Mesa King. <laughs> I want to try something only a city like this could offer. A one-of-a-kind experience. Um, putting your shoes in cement and throwing you into the river? <laughs> Seems to be the unique experience around here. I see. So the normal tourist attractions won't cut it. Hey. Right. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be ungracious when you've gone so far out of your way to show me around. My whole life, judo is all I've known. I'm sure you can see why I'm totally lost in a nightlife town. But I still want to find something more geared towards my interests. I suppose you wouldn't find a place like that too easily. Actually, I might have an idea. It's underground, it's below the homeless area. What? Really? Uh. Yeah, I think I know a place that'll be pretty exciting for a martial artist like you. You really think so? Please, take me there. There's only one place I know in Kamurocho that could satisfy Judo tr Master like Shinohara. That's where I'll take him. I don't think we're thinking the same place, are we? Or maybe we are. Because I was thinking Purgatory. Is it Purgatory? Oh yeah, cause, right, because the, uh... Right, the arena that we had, that was in Purgatory. Now, now I remember. For me, I was just like, that's the ex that's the exclusive place around, about this place. Like, we'd want to go to the Judo place just because that's... I mean, we want to go to the Purgatory just because that's the most weird, like, local area. But there's also that whole thing. Just the DVDs? Ah, crap. I'm trying to buy a wooden sword, you bastards. You pay now. Are you learning to are you learning your mistakes yet? Here, I'll help you. By beating you to death with an entire motorcycle. How you feeling? You feeling alright? What can I heat mode do? There we go. I just beat you with 0 0.75 motorcycles. The weird sentence. Let me say it like that. He's way too strong. Hey, you. What's the option again? Uh, housewives in a bind. There we go. So now that I've come to a actual weapon dealer, do you have a uh, wooden katana? <laughs> it's really tame, isn't it, to go for that? Collapsible steel staff. Super spicy knife. What? A blade that the blade of this knife contains bits of chili pepper that deliver a burning sensation to those it stabs. That's called having a burning sensation for those it stabs. That's just called being a knife. Just a, you don't need to upgrade a knife to make it feel like it's that burning people on the inside. That's just what they do. Anyway, he had another piece of car. I'm trying to stock up on car pieces because last time I did the, star the car thing, I felt like I couldn't do it correctly. Like I was, like I was, out of my element and not capable of of uh, competing. I don't think he sells katanas, uh, wooden katanas. The pipe, please baton, please baton. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Might have to just might have to see if I can find that later. Ah well. Uh. At least I got another engine. But I was hoping for a wooden katana to help with the uh, training thing. Where else would I buy a wooden katana? I mean, you don't have to do underground, like weapon dealers for that kind of stuff necessarily. But I don't really have a lot of places coming. To oh, Don Quixote. That's the go-to option for that, isn't it? Oh, but it's so far away, and I'm so likely to encounter, like, a not a naughty encounter on the way there. Could you guys not? Uh, you guys are everywhere, you know that? Spin to win! Is the fight over? Not yet? How about that? How about now? How about now? Ow! That hurt. Don't hurt me. Hurting me is bad for you. I'm sure you learned your lesson. 
even though you're just gonna be replaced by other people that do that make the same mistake anyway. Hustle, hustle! Stop it! You guys are everywhere. Go away. You guys have problems. Seriously, Kira, you stop dressing like this. Everyone wants to fight you all the time. Nobody else is being attacked in the street. It's you. You're dressing like a Yakuza. And for two games now, you're not in the Yakuza. There's like no reason. It's the self-destructive behavior. I'm here to help. You, you sell basically everything here. That's like the point, right? Surely you sell... Lumber? You sell lumber. You go as far to sell lumber, but you won't sell me a freaking... Okay. That's fine. We'll just... We'll just see when one shows up. I've done that before for other quests where we just see when the proper item just conveniently finds its way into my inventory. I just would have th I just thought I would have had a whooping katana already by now. I wouldn't be surprised if just finding more locker keys leads to me unlocking the, uh, the wooden umbrella out of one of those. Dear lord, the number of quests that have popped up as a result of me going forward one chapter seems really significant. The map is crowded with icons immediately. I think this is how some of the earlier Yakuza games were, though, is just they were, like, relatively short stories, and then they were packed with, like, relatively large numbers of, uh... Relatively... Re pretty large amounts of, uh, side content. Thank thankfully, I've got a few of those gotta go fast upgrades. So I can run pretty consistently. You know what? Help me, please! You what are you staring at, huh? You want your face rearranged? I'm staring at someone who wants to die. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this guy wants to, he wants to be a hero. You're gonna regret this. They're, I think they're kissing right now. Oh, he, well, he realized how awkward that was, and he just backed right up. Hello. I don't know what... Oh, my God. What am I doing right now? Uh... That was horrifying. Here. Enjoy this bar. Hey, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. I'm gonna show you all the best bars in Kamurocho. Oh, that's not what I was going for. Dude! When did you learn that? That's just a thing you do now? I was hoping to just... I was hoping my pun was gonna work out and he was gonna slam him into that bar on the gr that's that's over there like he did before. I don't remember the variables led to that happening before though. I'm sorry, I've learned my lesson! You showed those thugs, thank you. It isn't much, but please take this. Slightly battered golden bracelet. Money. You've gotta be shitting me. What? What? Oh, Kiryu-chan, what's up? Cool. You aren't going to attack me? Nah, I'm on break. Just having a smoke and thinking about shit. Mm -hmm. You? Thinking? Huh. Yeah, trying to figure out what I gotta do to, uh, next to get your attention. It ain't easy. <laughs> and if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna make sure I do it right. With a real nice surprise. <laughs> So if a bright idea strikes you, you best keep me in the loop, Kiryu-chan. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, okay. I'll let you know if I think of anything. About how to trick me. What? Bye. So I guess that's either the spot or one of the spots that he retires to. When you hit the point where you've maxed out your Majima progression for this part of the story. So our, uh... My upcoming side quest uh, binge is going to be surprisingly light on Majima interruptions. Sorry, I don't have a sword. Oh, weirdly, the place I think I'm going to for the other thing is also where I'm going to for this? Huh. I'm going to the same place for... The main story as I am for the side story. Oh, 
not really weird. It's just I don't. It's more that I don't know. Oh, there we go. I wasn't sure how to, if I'd be able to trigger them separately. Where are we? An underground area. Fighters come from all over the world to battle here, day in and day out. It's different, and it's a different kind of combative sport. A combative sporting event, you say? Uh. The type of strength you'd never have faced in the world of professional judo is what you find here. If you're interested, you can enter. How far do you think your judo skills can take you? You amaze me to no end, Kiryu-san. Getting you to be my tour guide was the best decision I've ever made. Nani. Huh? <laughs> this is the kind of experience I've been looking for. I think this will be the kind of excitement I was craving. Heh. <laughs> Sounds like you're willing to give it a go. <laughs> yes. I'm going to enter right now. <laughs> All right. Amazing. You won those three matches like they were nothing. So even the fighters of this underground arena are barely a warm-up for you, huh? Yeah. No, everyone was really strong. I wouldn't say I won by uh, any of those matches with ease. Mm -hmm. Really? Then why do you still look so dissatisfied? How observant of you, Kiryu-san. You're right. I'm not satisfied yet because he wants to fight me. <sighs> not even the fighters here could give me the experience and excitement I seek. Mm -hmm. I see. But I think I know what I want now. I know who would be able to bring me satisfaction. Kiss me, Kiryu-chan. Cool. And that man is? <laughs> you, Kiryu-chan. What? The first time we met, I saw everything. I saw how you tore down that punk. You move like a dragon. It was amazing. You have something that none of the fighters here do. So you're saying you want to fight me in the ring? Hey. Yes. Would you do me the honor? Uh. Of course. I accept your challenge. I'll put a little dragon in you. Wait. This sounds like a good time to save. Just putting that out there. Because he's supposed to be really strong. And these guys were strong when I fought them. And he's like, I'm more stronger than anybody. And I'm like, oh, that's a problem. Because <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> I can't. I, I am, but the people that were here last time were the tougher fights so far. Oh, I forgot to say what. Coliseum points. That's a thing. Image of an Asara. You can buy paintings with your points and then consumables. Wow, these random pictures are way cheaper than a single good healing item. What a katana! Five hundred points. Oh, cool. So if I can get that, I get a wooden katana. I wonder how hard that is to get. I wonder if I'll get any points from this. I should really check what these things do. Oh, end of the tournament. How do I start the fight? Just talking to you? Curious on, are you ready? Uh. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Thank you. Let's fight fair and square with nothing to hold us back. Do I have to manually unequip my items again? I guess not. Stop. That's the problem, isn't it? Ow. 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 Stop. Ow. Nope. Ow. Ow! Stop that! Nope! Ow! He can just grab me right out of my combos. Ow! 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 No! Stop grabbing me! Alright, I don't like that. Ow! Jesus! I don't know how to fight you. How does judo work? I'm scared. Ow. Ow. Oops, wrong move. <laughs> Ooh. 
dragon mode. There we go. <laughs> this is working, kind of. God, he has a lot of hit points. He has like three bars of hit points. This needs to stop. A really unfortunate spot to be stomping him. Oh, ow. Ow. No! Ow. Oh, is your stance changing? No! No! Oh, dang it. Alright, here we go. Ow. All right, fine. Whoop, ah, jeez, what? Ha what is happening? I'm scared. <laughs> ah, running away, running away, running, ha! <laughs> what are you gonna do now? <laughs> oh crap, that's what he's gonna do. <laughs> Just block it. <laughs> Punching, oh, that didn't keep going. Ow. Ow. There we go. No, pick him up when he's down. There we go. Ow. Dick. Come here. Yep. Yeah, boom. Come on. Give me a single... Heat action. There we go. I believe I can fly. <laughs> nope. No, stomp him, damn it. Uh, don't you stomp sometimes when I triangle, but other times you don't? <laughs> oh, ow. 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 No! No! Ow! Nope! 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 <laughs> don't, don't be facing the wrong way! Come on! Ow! There we go! Whew! That's the... That's gotta be the hardiest character I've fought so far. Since maybe Shimano, I guess? Kiryu-san, you were exactly the man I knew you'd be. I gave it everything I had, but you still defeated me. Yeah. No, your moves are more intense than I ever could have imagined. I'm surprised I won, honestly. <laughs> I have nothing but the utmost gratitude for you, Kiryu-san. I'm glad I came to Kamurocho. Good. Does that mean you're leaving? Yeah. No. I'm going to stay here and keep improving my skills. So that if I ever have another opportunity to fight you, I can make sure I win. <laughs> Is that so? Then I'll have to keep improving too. <laughs> I haven't felt so alive since I retired. I'm looking forward to facing you again, Kiryu-san. Kind of weird how that started off with voice acting, then it just never came back. The initial, the initial encounter with the 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 couple on a date, like it had full voice acting, and then it never happened again for the rest of the quest. Huh. Oh, now he sh now he is a person in the underground arena added to the pile. Fifteen thousand experience points. All right. Actually, no. <laughs> I have to get fifty in order to be able to proceed. 
Okay. How am I doing right now on uh, sub stories, by the way? 35 out of. Wow. Yeah, we're like halfway done with them. Already. So I don't. Do I still. Not, I still don't have points, right? Yeah. I should just earn points. Let's just enter a tournament and actually get some points. Basic rules. Win three consecutive attacks. You get 30% of your health between matches. Okay. Let's do it. Exhibition T screaming GP. What? Abandon hope. Ye who enter here, a tournament for rookies, fresh to the Colosseum. This is the gateway to prove that you are a warrior worthy of competing in the reversed ring. Res revered ring. And then Screaming GP, a type of tourney where strange potions with various effects are dropped at random across the ring. This also known as the Tournament of Turnabouts, where any competitor can mount a comeback. That just sounds weird and I want to see it. First matches versus Ki Coyote Miyamoto. I need to afford that, uh... That wooden katana. That confirmation of my age, I'm 37. So I, w I was only 20 years old. I was only 20 year old years old in the events of Yakuza 0. And my age has doubled since then? Jesus. Stomp. Jesus. He's not doing so well. Ow. Ow. Grab and throw. Meow. Stomp. Getting that crowd pleaser down. There we go. They're hardier than street thugs, but they're super easy fights so far. The Last Apprentice, Akiro Kondo. You, you, wait, you're wearing sunglasses to a fist fight? You're stupid. You're a stupid person. <laughs> That's just a really bad idea. And that's why. That's why it's a bad idea. There it was. That was the reason. Is that good? Nope. <laughs> that was bad. Ow. Fine. Let's do this. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Ow. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me, you shit. Damn it. Oh. That was like one second too late on the counterattack. Final match. Just suddenly like a dead or alive character or something. It looks like a dead or alive match arena. Not that a hexagon is really unusual. Bloodbath Wolf? He looks way older than me, but he's one year older than me. a gargantuan person compared to me. I'm sure this feels great. Oops. Take down the enemy? In seven seconds? That's not gonna happen. Unless you just mean, like, knock him down, like this. Ow. Ow. I mean, the option- it went away, so I assume it doesn't even apply anymore. He's really dodgy for a big guy. Ow. 
Ow. No, 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 no. Dodge, dodge, dodge. There we go. That went super well. I didn't even have to use an item. And I don't know if I could have. Good job, please. No. I needed 500. I needed 500 points. Dang it. Well, that's gonna take a while. Oh, 50 grand. That's nice. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find a different way later to find a wooden katana. Just because I don't really want to do the same tournament twice in a row for that. But let's head back on out. And go find some other uh, stuff to do. Slash maybe just a normal ass store to buy a wooden katana in. For all I know, they sell it in convenience stores because they're like maybe for kids. 